Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this is just a uh, some progress on our new pond project. And so what we're doing is we have a 300 gallon basin that we're going to be putting in as kind of the main pond. And that's where like, you know, the waterfalls and filters and so on and so forth are going to be. But these barrels, we have two of them. And uh, I believe you posted a video with Gary cutting the lid up already. Mm -hmm. So our neighbor Gary came, he cut the lids off with his Sawzall. And we're gonna put basically the ponds here and then we're gonna put the barrels on either side so that way it's gonna be kind of like an accent and have additional lotus plants that will use chemicals to raise those ones whereas we'll use fish in the main pond. But that being said, we need them to be roughly, or we want them to be roughly level with the pond and the, the soil here is just nothing but rock at the depth that we're at. And so trying to get at deeper with a pickaxe or something like that is just, it's so labor intensive that it's not worth it. So what we're gonna do is we're actually just gonna cut it shorter. And I've already measured that basically right at the base of this little line here is where the top of the pond is gonna be. So that's what I'm doing now is just going through to cut that off. And the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna get the whole uh, a slit started with the Dremel. And I'm just gonna use the cutoff wheel because I don't have a saw blade. Um, and this will work, it'll, it'll just get the hole started. And once I get the hole started, then I'll switch over to a skill saw or a scroll saw to finish it up. The, the scroll saw and as you see I got a nice toothy blade in there so that way it's gonna cut through the plastic pretty easily so the easiest way that I do this is I just kind of straddle the barrel so that way I don't have to worry about the barrel rolling back and forth and trying to control it with one hand and then the saw with the other and then I'll end up doing a cut and then rolling it or readjusting the barrel and then doing the next cut until I get all the way through it Okay, and so even though um, these are seemingly not gonna be used for the pond, what we probably will end up using these things for is just burying maybe an inch or two into the ground and then using them for like a, a you know, flower bed or, or you know, a little tiny raised pot or, or something like that, just so that way this can act as a weed barrier for us. And so when I'm edging, I can just go right around it with no problem. So no waste, right? So next step, I'm just gonna give this a quick rinse. You get all those little plastic bits and shavings out of there and then put it in place.
See, these are, uh, I actually cut them just slightly lower because I figured it would be easier to have these be a little bit lower than have them be higher than this and cover them up. But like I said, they're they're right where the height where we want them to be. I'd already cut the first one. So it's dug out. They're um, far back enough in the hole to where when you fill this in, we'll be able to put decorative stone over the top of both ledges. And that way we don't have to worry about seeing the, the edges of the, of the tops of the barrels in the ponds. And so, so, all right guys, so the next thing we're gonna start doing is we'll start burying it in. Apologize for the, the lighting in the dark. I had to work today, so I'm just trying to get as much done before uh, we rain because I figured let the rain fill as much of the barrels up as, as it can. Why not, right? So, all right, we'll, we'll post another video as we make more updates, but as of right now, the, the basic, these pond features are in place where we want them to be. And uh, we'll let it, we'll start filling the water up and then backfill all the soil and whatnot and go from there. So as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and share and you know all that stuff. And thank you for your support.